What is going on guys? Today I'm going to be teaching you how to actually install a TikTok pixel onto your website. So real quick, for those of y'all that don't know what a TikTok pixel is or what it does, essentially it's a piece of code that goes on your website, which allows you to track different user conversions. So in short, it's really important. So please listen up. All right. So first things first, you're going to want to log on to uh, TikTok ads. And at the top of the page, you're going to see library and under library, select event. Now it's going to give you two options. It's going to give you the option to create an app event or a website pixel. And we're going to be doing a website pixel. So hit manage. And as you can see, I've already gone through this a couple times. Unfortunately, right now, TikTok does not allow you to delete pixels. So try and be as tidy as possible. I know I'm being super messy here, but it's for demonstration purposes. It's a good cause. So hell, I'll live with it. All right, so let's hit create pixel. And we're going to call this tutorial. So as of now, they give you two options. You can manually install it yourself or you can install it via Google Tag Manager. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and manually install the pixel code ourselves because I assume that's what most people are gonna be doing and hit next. All right, so once the pixel is created, all you have to do is copy the pixel code. And now this is super dependent on what website builder you're using. I'm personally using Wix. Uh, I know a lot of people are probably gonna be using Shopify, uh, possibly WordPress, um, all the other ones, right? So what I encourage you to do if you're not using Wix, uh, just a quick Joodle search. How do I install a uh, code snippet into my website's header, uh, depending on what platform you use? That should answer your question. It should be pretty straightforward, um, but the same principles apply. So let's go ahead and go to my site. Essentially what we're gonna do here is hit settings. And down here, we go to tracking and analytics. So once we're on tracking and analytics, it's fairly simple. One thing to keep in mind is, well, give me one second, just hit new tool, custom, paste the code snippet. Let's call it TikTok tutorial. And we're good. All right, so very important, make sure it's placed in the head, uh, nowhere else just in the head and hit apply. All right, once that's done, we go ahead and publish. Now, as you can see here, TikTok does have a TikTok uh, pixel helper. So I use Google Chrome. Essentially that's up here in this little bar, as you can see it right there. So just go ahead, click on there, install it to your Chrome. So you're able to see if you properly installed your pixel onto your site. So the next step would be actually going to the website. Let's refresh it. Cool, cool, cool. And click right here. All right, awesome. So as you can see, I have two different pixels uh, installed. The first pixel already has two events because that's the main pixel. And pixel number two is the one that I'm doing right now for demonstration purposes. And I'm gonna show you how to set, set up some really basic events. Now, before we actually get into uh, how to create different events, I'm assuming that a lot of y'all are coming here because you wanna run ads to your e-commerce store. The best piece of advice I can give you for setting up events for e-com specifically is treat each and every part of the customer journey as a separate event. What do I mean by this? Essentially, say for example, you have a product page. Let's call that uh, an initial page view, right? Or product page. Uh, the next event would be add to cart. You're gonna wanna label that add to cart. Uh, the next one would possibly be initiate checkout and the actual purchase. So you have four separate events. Uh, and the reason being, is you're gonna wanna be able to see where the drop-off is and actually segment that. I mean, take people from those audiences that are dropping off before purchases and actually put them into retargeting campaigns. So it's really important that you do that properly. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not dealing with an e-commerce store, so I can't visually teach you that right now. So we're gonna be doing a form submission event. 
All right, so super simple form submission. It, this is basically a template. There's also other options, as you can see here, of custom events, consultation events, app download events, X, Y, Z. Um, so this is basically a template and this is a details page. So we're gonna call it what it is. Let's call it details page, cool. No value and form submission. Now, one of the easiest ways to actually track these things is via URL. And that's what I'm gonna be doing because in my opinion, it's the simplest way to do so. So we're gonna to continue to set up the event rules. Insert our website URL for the specific page that we want to do this for. And it's going to show us a preview on what it looks like on mobile. So as you can see right here on the right hand side, it's giving us three different options. We have click events, destination URL and pop up events. Now this is going to be super dependent on what it is, what your objective is, how your website is set up. Me personally, like I had just mentioned, I'm going to be doing a, de a destination URL. So all I have to do is click there and add a page browsing rule. So page browsing is essentially this page. Like if someone lands on here, they're browsing through the page, right? So all we have to do is the page URL contains the URL, right? Hit save and complete. Now we head on over to form submission and we do the same thing. Destination URL, add a page tracking, page URL contains, it's the same, but all right. So the slug is slightly different. Uh, in this specific scenario, I already know what it's called. Uh, my thank you page, I guess you can refer it to. Uh, so you're going to want to make sure that that URL is correct, because if not, your tracking is going to be way off. So now that that's complete, hit save guys, don't forget to hit save. It's complete. Boom, created successfully. And as you can see down here, we have two different events, it created an event ID to be able to identify it. Uh, super cool. Now, just to double check, going back to it, I know on the first pixel I had originally done it properly. But at this point in time, we should possibly, if it updated, all right, cool. So obviously on pixel one and pixel two, which would be the one that I just installed, you see that there's two different events uh, that could possibly go down on this page. One is already triggered, which is the page view, right? And the one that isn't triggered is the actual form submission. So guys, it's really, it's simple. It can be a little difficult. It's confusing. That's why I wanted to make this tutorial for y'all. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, feel free to comment down below. Again, this is a new platform for me, uh, but it's somewhat similar to all the other ad platforms. Uh, I know TikTok actually has like a really good source of information. Uh, I think it's called TikTok Business. I think you can find it under help. Um, but yeah, they, they actually have some really good, uh, not articles, but just FAQs that you can reference as well. But comment down below. I'd be happy to help as much as possible. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know as well. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll definitely be making more of these TikTok ad videos in the future. But for now, peace.